they can follow the Son of the Holy Spirit. The Lord can keep them. Great God. Father, I'm sad. We have patiently waited with you during your pregnancy with the Christ child. Together we have waited, anticipating the birth of your Son on our altar and in our hearts. Continue to detach us from the visible. Help us to fix our gaze on the invisible presence of our God and the Holy Ghost. Beguiled by so many non essential things, help us to realize that everything we want and need is right before us in the Eucharist. May your son's love overflow the chalice of our hearts when we receive Holy Communion. That we might dynamically love others as generously as your son's sacred love. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth with great joy in your heart to celebrate these events. Our Lady Perpetual Help, our Lady Most Admirable, St. John. The Lord opened the gate of heaven and rained down man upon them to eat. And gave them bread from heaven, man ate the bread of angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. In Jesus' agony in the garden, he was alone, and he was tempted by Satan. And he prayed that his apostles wouldn't have to undergo Oftentimes, the test is given to us, the loneliness and the ache in our hearts, and we always ask God to fill that with his love. It's called to mind our sins, the times that we have sought to fill that emptiness in our hearts with other things, objects, people, things other than God. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son. Graciously grant that we who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ may experience continued increase of your saving grace. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Raise a glad cry, you barren one who did not bear. Break forth the jubilant song, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the space of your tent. Spread out your tent cloths unsparingly. Lengthen your ropes and make firm your states. For you shall spread abroad to the right and to the left. Your descendants shall dispossess the nations and shall people the desolate cities. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not blush. For you shall not be disgraced. The shame of your youth you shall forget. The reproach of your widowhood no longer remember. For he who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. 
Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back, like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. A wife married in youth and then passed on, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandoned you. With great tenderness, I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you. With enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me, like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who is mercy on you. The word of the Lord. I will praise you, Lord, for you that rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you that rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me be clear. Did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the nether world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment. A lifetime is goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Israel, and have pity on me. O Lord, my help. Change my mourning into dancing. The Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me.
greater than you. All the people who listen, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledge the righteousness of God. The Pharisees and scholars of the law, who were not baptized by him, rejected the plan of God for themselves. The gospel. So make the emptiness 
bigger. That's what Isaiah says. Isn't that wild? space bigger. It seems counterintuitive. But that's because God is involved. God doesn't think like the man thinks. So don't turn on the TV when you're lonely. Leave it off. When you feel that you're not loved, says to Isaiah, this is for me like the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, there were many, many people, but very few who opened their hearts to let God in. So what did God do? He destroyed the people of the deluge. God only saved eight persons in the ark. Eight people that would open their hearts to him. There are 11 people here this morning. And the whole town was of that. Only 11 people opened their hearts to let God help them. How blessed you are. Say it says, for a brief moment, God will abandon you. In your loneliness, God is going to test you. Just like he tested Jesus in the garden. The Father always tests his son. You're God's son. Oh. Wow. 
So enlarge the space of your den. You shall spread abroad to the right and to the left. Our Lady Perpetual Love, pray for us. Our Lady Most Admirable, St. John Newman. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, the will to come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of human hands, we will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, our God, that of all the Holy Church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of 
your loving kindness may be for us a sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who has instituted the pattern of everlasting sacrifice, was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh, that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood, that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy and to be glorified with God, who loved you, the Prince, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love. When as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures, and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth the Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he was to suffer, the night of the Last Supper, took bread and said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. Silver way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave him thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer him bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. Grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters, Professor Richard Garland and Patricia Fitzgerald. They have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. And all the dead, whose faith you alone have known, admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. And grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place with you forever. There I commune with Blessed Virgin Mary, God, Joseph, your spouse, 
For the apostles and martyrs, St. Peter, St. John Newman, with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and the by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by thy help and mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope, of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank God. Take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Now we'll pray our prayer to My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since other people here to me do not now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come and be spiritually into their hearts. As though you are already in our hearts, help us to embrace you and unite ourselves to you. For if not, we should never be separated from you.
Prayer of gratitude. My Jesus, I love and adore you. You have come to me. I am a I want you to make with me forever in this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share your own life. May I become more like you through this sake. And let me know that you are granted, but always pray for those whose lives are dark with sin and ignorance and selfishness. Let me remember the words of St. Paul, that there be the grace of God to the life. Each day I can become more like you, O Lord. And each day I can pray for those who have never heard of your presence in the Eucharist, who have heard it and rejected it. Let us pray. May the sharing of this heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body of Lord Christ, the whole human family of believers may be bound together through Christ our Lord.
Virgin Mary, the angel's message. Grant that we, your petitioners, who beseech Our Lady, that we truly believe she is the Mother of God, that we may be aided by her intercessions to give you due glory and adoration in these 40 hours. O God, we believe that you are here. We adore you and love you with our whole heart and soul because you are most worthy of our love. Desire the love of St. John and now as a time. We ask you to flood our souls with your spirit and your life, to penetrate our possess our whole being, that our lives may only be a radiance to your glory. We ask you to shine through us that all those souls that we come in contact with this day may feel your presence in our souls. And now we'll have the Eucharistic uh, procession uh, before our 40 hours start. And this is uh, symbolic of uh, the, the Lord at the Last Supper. After he ate the meal with his uh, apostles, uh, they walked into the garden. They made a trip to the garden and they sang psalms. So we'll do the same thing. We'll follow the Lord, our Lord, we'll follow behind him in the procession, uh, singing, uh, Holy God, we praise the name.
for all of our sick and suffering, especially in Camp Vida, and for all of our homebound and the nursing home. We ask you to unite their prayers with ours, Lord Jesus, to make this 40 hours devotion as a true parish. We ask for blessing on our young people as they discern their vocations, how it is they live their lives for your glory, Lord. We ask for blessing on our married couples as they continue to wake up each day and lay down their life for each other. Pray for a special blessing for our priests and continue to pastor us through this Advent season into the joy and the glory of Christmas. Always pray for that baby that was spiritually adopted. Pray for them to legalize abortion in our country, that all would see the same thing. Life. We always pray to the women and first Holy Mercy Chapel for your special intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, with your grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in all of our death. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and ascended into God. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven. Seated at the right hand of God, Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for atonement for our sins, sins of the whole world. For the sake of the soul of passion, for the sake of the sorrowful 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 passion. Save the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. Eternal Father, I offer the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. It's only for our sins, the sins of the whole world. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. For the sake of the soul of the nation. Eternal Father, I offer the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake 